Hey, what's going on guys? It's TV and our frags, aka Preston here, and welcome back to episode 2 of the Amplified Flawless series in Titanfall. You guys absolutely smashed the like ratings on the last episode. We got over 5,000 likes, which is crazy. Let's try to aim for that again on this episode. But uh, anyways, and then yesterday's episode, I'll link it down below in the description. It was with the first... Uh, you know, weapon, the assault rifle. I think it's called the RC, like, 101 carbine. It's got, like, a kind of complicated name and stuff like that. And I'm sorry if you guys in the background hear key clicks. I forgot to mute my microphone when I was recording. So you can hear, like, my, my Black Widow keyboard in the background and, like, my mouse clicks and my keyboard clicks. So I do apologize for that. It was all an accident. I didn't mean to. But in today's episode, we're using the Amped EVA shotgun. It's, like, EVA-8, which, in my opinion, I really like this Amplified card a lot because it turns the shotgun it basically changed the you know it changes not necessarily the dynamics of it but it changes kind of the mechanics of it because it makes it a fully automatic shotgun instead of like a semi-automatic which is kind of cool like you can just hold the trigger and it just spams bullets like crazy and not only that but like the shotgun is already really powerful in this game and I feel kind of like a scumbag whenever I use the shotgun and I'm not gonna lie when I get killed by a shotgun it's like when I get killed by a smart pistol I get I get pretty upset and I get pretty frustrated but I, I learned to live with it I learned to deal with it but the amped EVA is just like a really fun shotgun. However, there's one thing about it, and, and this goes for the uh, the basic shotgun as well, is that you can run out of ammo really quickly. And is how you do that is if you reload before you you know you use all your ammo in your current magazine, it actually just completely gets rid of your ammo. Like your ammo doesn't carry over like how it does in assault rifles and SMGs. But uh, there was somebody left me a comment yesterday in one of my videos on my Titanfall video, and they said if you get in your Titan, it completely refreshes your ammo stack. So it refreshes like your grenades um, and all that stuff like that. So you can see right here, like I used both of my grenades beforehand on that one guy at the beginning of the video. I've got both of my shot grenades back and then I've got full ammo with my shotgun. So that's actually like a really neat trick. So whoever commented that down below, thank you so much. It's actually going to make going for gameplays a lot easier and stuff like that because I won't have to worry about running out of flipping ammo with my burn cards. And you know, the one thing is about this is I didn't want to go into my Titan in this series because it would kind of ruin the whole point of the series. Because it's all about, you know, showing off gun skill and, and maneuvering the map and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I didn't want to get my Titan at all except for just to replenish my ammo, which I think is completely fair uh, in all honesty because it really doesn't, you know, take away from the gameplay at all or anything like that. But, uh, you know, anyways, all right, we're getting kind of a good off track and, and sidetrack. But you'll notice that in most of these episodes, I'm using the cloak ability. And, like, in the beta, I was a really big advocate of the stim pack ability, but I'm starting to kind of lean towards cloak more than I am, uh, you know, stim pack, just because of the fact that, I, I don't know what it is, I guess like, cloak people are not that hard to see at all, but when you're in a titan and you're completely focused on another titan or maybe a human pilot who's shooting a sidewinder at you or maybe something else, cloak seems to work really well. Plus, it, you know, it cloaks you away from specters and grunts, and believe it or not, man, grunts and specters hit hard, okay? Like, if they end up meleeing you, it does a lot of damage. Like, you go from, like, no, no red screen to, like, pretty flippin' red screen. So, keep that in mind if you guys are fighting spe Like, look right here. These specters are kicking my butt, man. I'm getting destroyed by these little guys. And they're just robots, right? And the specters are so hard to take down. Even with a shotgun, unless you hit him, like, directly in the face, it takes a lot of shots to kill. And I was trying to save my, my teammate's Titan right here. He had, a, he had a guy rodeoing him, but he wouldn't freaking let me stand still. And you know what there should be? I wish Titanfall had some kind of command to where you could like, I don't know, voice, even like a voice command from your character or something like that that you could, you know, press and it would let you know, or like maybe some kind of rodeo ability like to let you know that your teammates are being rodeoed, like, like it would be nice, I don't know, because like it says a lot of the times like, heads up, you know, nearby enemy pilots are in the area. Like, why can't it say, you know, heads up, teammates, you know, Titan is being rodeoed. I guess that would be kind of like a little bit overpowered, but I feel like they should add something more to the, uh, the whole rodeo scheme. Maybe it could be like a perk or something like that. You know, you can know when you're being rodeoed or maybe it's something silly like that. I don't know. I thought it would just kind of be cool because there's so many times when I've got like three teammate titans that are just directly behind me. They can see my back so clearly and I'll have like an enemy on my back just rodeoing me and they're not gonna, they don't give a fudge, man. They just walk past me and I'm like, really? Like you guys just take two seconds to shoot the guy by flipping back and then we could actually win this game and I won't lose my titan, but they, they never flip and do it, man. They never do it. But then again, the really cool thing is when you're trying to rodeo an enemy titan, if you have cloak on, it's really hard for, you know, teammates to see that, you know, their teammates being rodeoed because, you know, if you're cloaked, they can't see you. So that's also another good use for cloak. But you can see right here, man, specters absolutely just tank the shotgun. And in this gameplay, I was I had like, all right, it's, it's going to sound really cheesy. 
And you guys might think I'm lying, but I had an eyelash, like, stuck in my left eye the entire gameplay. And I was trying to get it out, like, in the cracks of time. And you guys are going to see what happens towards the end here. And I almost got taken out by this guy with a shotgun. I was like, we are one point away from winning. I get the final kill for the victory. And then right here, I'm just like, all right, we won. It's all good. I've got this eyelash in my eye. I was playing with, like, one hand, kind of. Right here, and I was just trying to get through the flicking window. And the Spectre <laughs> They kicked me to death! They kicked me to death, man! I'm over here trying to get the flipping eyelash out of my head. I die by a Spectre boot. But listen, it still counts as flawless, because look at this. 17-0. I do not see a death on that scoreboard. So that death that happened due to the flipping eyelash, it doesn't count. Okay, I was still technically flawless because epilogue don't count. But um, anyways, that's the end of this episode, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll uh, check you guys out later. Goodbye, everybody.